All right, guys. So today's video is titled Installation of Precast Concrete Fence Post DIY. There's no real indication on where the fence is being installed. So the channel is AACP Precast. We looked up that company. They're based out of India. So we have to assume this is installed in India. Now, the last fence that we saw that was installed uh, with concrete posts, concrete gravel boards, that sort of thing, uh, was built by professional tradesmen uh, there in the UK and Nottingham specifically. Um, Jeremy said this is more of a, uh, as the title says, more of a DIY type video. So with all that being said, let's check it out. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family has been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. All right, so right off the bat, they're using a jig, right? So something to pre-measure the panels. When we watched the D&J video, they used a, a level, a six-foot level, knowing that their panels were all six foot. Uh, so these guys have made up a jig out of a, a stick that is likely pre-measured to the size of um, gravel boards and panels that they'll be using. Looks like they're off to a good start. So they've got all the uh, gravel boards installed in the post. Looks like they're all nice and level. I mean, without getting a close look at it. Looks like they're off to a good start. So they had a double post here uh, because of the grade change. Um, I might have just have left the lower post a little bit higher and not had to double up, uh, but the double post might be for an entirely different reason. Okay, so looks like they're using rather than wood fence panels, looks like they're using a uh, like a decorative gravel board, a stamped gravel board. Uh, that looks like bricks. Uh, so you know what? So this style came up a lot in the comments. It, it came up a lot in the comments in South Africa that in South Africa, they typically use all uh, concrete boards. Uh, so it's interesting to see that in this particular video here in India, that uh, they also use all concrete. It's got to be incredibly durable, incredibly heavy, but very durable. So that's interesting to see. So uh, now we're looking at the back side of the fence. So one side stamped, one side smooth. So likely not stamped. I, I can see you guys typing away in the comments as we speak. Uh, not stamped, right? So it's just part of the form. I'm sure one side is textured, one side is not. I understand. Not stamped. It's part of the form. You would really want to watch your fingers. I would, this would be a great way to end up with some broken fingers for sure. So the disadvantage of this fence is what you see. There's three grown men installing each one of these gravel boards. Uh, they've got to be Fairly heavy. That's a nice touch. The final gravel board on the top is a smooth one. So you have a, a smooth gravel board on the bottom, a smooth gravel board on top, smooth post on either end. Maybe gives it like a little bit of a, a picture frame or a window frame 
uh, look. Well, guys, let me let me know what you think about this fencing system. So I asked you to do the same thing when we did the D and J projects uh, review video. This is a system, a concrete post, a concrete gravel board system that we're looking into here in the states because I like the fact that it's incredibly durable and maintenance is fairly easy. So if you know if we're talking about a wood panel infill and that wood panel breaks or it just gets old after several several years, uh, they can be slid up pretty easily and then a new one slid in. Uh, the maintenance has got to be so much easier on a fence like this. Uh, now on this particular fence where they're all gravel concrete gravel boards, maintenance might be a little bit more difficult. But the benefit of it being all concrete is the entire fence system would likely be a 50, 60, 70 year fence system uh, rather than you know when we're talking about wood products, you know a 10 or 15 year fence system. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really interested in this system, especially seeing that the forms can be made to where one side is a more decorative look, a more uh, you know upscale look, if you will, of uh, looking like it's a brick wall. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd really like your guys' input. But for now, I'm Joe Evers, the fence expert, and I'm reminding you that good fences make good neighbors. And I'll see you next time.